Hey, hey, y'all. What's going on? Welcome to my channel, Tea Girl Magic Tarot. Yeah, yeah. Here to do a reading for my ch ch Gemini. My Geminis. What's going on, Gemini? High vibe, cross watcher, everyone. Is loved and welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Come on in and get a seat. Get in where you fit in. So general message is not going to resonate with each and every Gemini, high vibe, cross watcher, or nobody. So only take the messages that fit and leave the rest, darling. Yes. Okay, choir. Come on to the front. Uh -uh One, two, three. Oh, T-girl, tarot, magic and collective. T-girl, 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 magic and collective. T-girl, Tarot, magic, and collective. Come check us out and see what we're about. We are Gemini, 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 Gemini. We sing Gemini, 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 Gemini. We are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Yay! Give the choir a round of applause. Okay, let's get right into it. I do feel a lot of energy going around, a lot of energetic activities going around in the ethers. So we're gonna see what's going on in the ethers because I know somebody trying to child the ancestors. Look, somebody trying to get you to conform and do what they want you to do. I don't know what the hell that is, but child, you better feel the power of your ancestors and your, and look, it says feel the power of your blood and your ancestors. You're not alone. So whoever's trying to get you to conform, I don't know what the hell they done met. I think I did the last reading. Some your ancestors have met somebody up in the ethers trying to fuck with your energy, with you and your energy to try to get you to conform. Be yourself. It says be brave and be yourself. Because the lotus within you awakens. You are a master in the light on high. Yeah, they didn't know who the fuck they was fucking with. Gemini, high vibe, cross watcher, child. They better be careful, spirit. What's going on? Your ancestors came up, child. Feel the power. I know y'all feel the power of your ancestors. Something went down. Spirit, what had happened? Why was it trying to get Gemini or high vibe to conform? What is going on? Because you're being cold and detached and it says protect what you love. Your ancestors is protecting what they love. They love the shit out of you. Literally. Okay? Seriously. And they be like, I'll be damned if somebody try to make our baby conform. Okay? Because her lotus or his lotus is awakened within them. So you're stepping in your divinity. You're having a spiritual ascension, awakening, whatever the case may be. Five, there's a change. Okay, so some of you guys could be ascended masters or earth angel. Your calling is higher than the average bear. And your ancestors, honey, they protect in what they love. And it's, it's their duty and their responsibility to protect you with this 10 because you have co closed out cycles. Okay, there's a brand new beginning for you. Definitely. And spirits say that you don't need to conform with the seven. Seven is perfection. You're per perfect where you're at and who you are. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So, oh shit, child, you're caught up in drama. That's why the ancestors then came down and had to whip somebody's ass because they try to keep catch you up in some type of drama somehow. Act to free yourself, change and blossom again. You're caught up in drama. Some of y'all are literally caught up in drama. 40 could have, some of y'all could be 40 years old, too old to be caught up in some damn drama. Some of y'all got a 25 year old kid. Child, you're trying to protect, and they got your ass caught up in some damn drama. Some of y'all got a 16-year-old child. They need a solid foundation. They got your ass caught up in some drama. Child. Mm-hmm. And some of you guys are, yeah, going through your spiritual awakening right now. Definitely. Um, what I don't know why I put that there. Because this is this is foundation. This is a black onyx. This grounds. I think it's tourmaline. No, I don't think it's tourmaline. I think I have so much black tourmaline and on onyx, honey. Anyway, grounding stones, okay? So you're you're too grounded. You're okay to be yourself. You're the brave one, okay? You're not going to conform because your calling is not, you're not with like everybody else. You're different, okay? And somebody hot, could be a fire sign that wants you to conform or they want to take control or take power over you or getting you caught up in some type of drama. Maybe your child's a fire sign. I don't know. You could be a fire sign or have that in your chart. Your ancestors could have some fire in their chart. What else, Holy Spirit? 
Have the courage to be free. Hell yeah, your ancestors is like, bitch, you're not going to shackle and chain down my baby. Have the courage to be free. Know that freedom begins where desire ends. So maybe some of y'all are desiring. I don't know. Spirit, what is this desire? What's, who what's this? have the courage to be free? What's the courage to be free? Okay, because we got a king of wands that's trying to be in reverse. What is this? I know these were, okay. Okay, so some of you there, we have a fucking king of wands in the reverse, and that's not a good energy. Um, it could mean this person does take action towards all the towards drama. Anything dramatic. This person's a drama king. Drama queen or drama queen queen. When things don't go their way, they want to start up mess and be going crazy and holding back from you. Or whatever this person's blocking your blessings, and they also are blocking you from elevating into this Ten of Cups energy. Okay, so Spirit says, have the courage to walk away because you're caught up. Whoever this energy you're caught up, look, they keep you in this. They keep you in balance and juggled and whatever. It could be an earth sign. It doesn't have to be. There's a lot of earth and fire up here for sure. Um, But now they see you as a rising star. Yeah, that's your lotus flower awakening. You could be a healer. You could be a public speaker. Whatever you do, you do something online. You balance out energy. You balance out people's emotions. You're balanced. This person's not imbalanced. I mean, they are not balanced. They are imbalanced while you are complete, totally balanced because you're having a spiritual awakening. You got good luck and success on your side. Isn't the koi fish and the um, Asian community, don't they represent good wealth and good health and luck and all of that stuff? You have that. And this person doesn't. They're losing money. There's no equal give and take. They're going through bad karma right now with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. They're they're lazy, extremely lazy, and always caught up in drama. And they think they they mad at you that you have the nerves and the courage to walk away and be free from this ass, this ass soul. Okay, I'm getting that from this King of Wands. It could be very abusive. Okay, sharp with their yeah, they're very abusive. They want to fight and beat up motherfuckers when they don't conform. Okay, when you stand up. To, you know, to be brave by yourself or to be yourself or whatever the case may be, this person causes drama. Look at them, just toxic as fuck. So you have a decision to make, I'm guessing. I, I don't know. Maybe your ancestors, maybe they reevaluating their ways or what steps they took down, or I don't know what the hell happened. Or maybe they're reevaluating that them trying to do this by force because the King of Wands, even though he's lazy, he's a bitch and he's an asshole and he's a woman beater and an abuser. Whether it be a male or a female, they're not good people in the reverse, okay? And then have the nerves and not have no money and be trying to control and run shit with no money? Child, please. So now they're trying to figure out, okay, well, this is this toxic way is not getting me a brand new beginning with Gemini High Vibe Cross Watcher. You're damn right it ain't. Ma'am or sir, look, I got to lay some shit to rest. And thinking things from a different perspective. So this person's going, trying to look at things from a different perspective. Um, because right now they're just, what's, what's this person's energy spirit? Why are they feel so fucked up? Like what's going on? What's the real deal? So they tried the ancestors beat their ass. They, they, they did some magic because the king of wands is magic. Okay. He knows magic. Um, uh, uh, occultist tried to do some type of chaos magic. Okay, and your ancestors, the antennas, uh, I don't know what you did to return the sender. Your ancestors was like, no, hell no, you're not alone, baby. We're going to protect the brand. We're going to protect what we love. We love you. Yeah, and they stepped in because you're free. You're free. Somebody was trying to bind you, trap you, whatever, keep you caught up in a low vibrational energy. And ancestors said, no, you've had an ascension. You've had an awakening. You are not the same as you once were before. You're a brand new person. You're healed. You're a healer. You're in your calling. What else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, because these people want you to be the same. Somebody tried to make you as the Queen of Swords in reverse. Talking about you was crazy, irrational, you know. Um, Yeah, and no, they didn't want people to work with you, that you're a liar. That's what they tried to say, and they leave you out in the cold. So whoever this energy is, it could be a sister. I keep kicking it, but feminine energy. Oh my God. And then uh, for my ladies, it is a feminine energy. You got two energies. You got a masculine energy that's mad and you got a raggedy feminine energy. And men the same the same way. You got a feminine and a masculine. Now, I don't know if they're together or if they were together or if they know each other or not. Or they're just in your energy, just hating on you, Gemini. But they want to leave you. They wish you were out in the cold. Okay, they wish you were in this. They're wishing this energy for you. They're projecting these energies towards you. And ancestors said, no, fuck that. So now they caught up in some type of drama because of their, their fucking way. So the shit ricocheted and backfired at the end of the day while you're able to move to calmer waters into your kingdom. Okay? 
So your ancestors got your back. Yeah, you're blessed and highly favored, baby. You're very intuitive. You're, uh, you're extremely tapped in. These people, look, your ranking is so much higher than these people. And I don't know why they won't. Because they in the shadow side, they delusion and confused. And it is people from your past. That's why I'm always saying leave out these raggedies from your past. Because they don't mean you no good. Look at them. Yeah, you possibly this raggedy king of swords. But stand your ground and speak your truth, okay? Definitely. Somebody from your past wants to come back to you but whoever this energy is they were your karmic counterpart possibly whether it be a friend or a lover or whatever this was the opposite they tried to make you seem like the crazy one when they were the crazy one so for my women it's a it's a masculine and his feminine energy what he tried to say you were was was he is not was he is and my masculines, they try to say that you was a weak-ass bitch. And you not. You all man. Okay? And you stand in your truth and you look good, too. Shit. I don't know what the hell they was talking about. Yeah, Gemini. Look at they was trying to talk about you. Okay, Gemini. But you look. Look at you. They really can't say shit now. Okay? Look who's laughing now, though. You're abundant. You're beautiful. You're glowing. You're balanced. You're the lovers. You have victory and success. And you have a lot of suitors that want you and after you. Definitely, because you look good. I just said you look good, and they heartbroken over that. I don't know why the fuck they heartbroken over it for. The hell they heartbroken? Because you blocking their ass, and they've been blocked, and their ancestors have blocked them, because this is spiritual protection as well. So you've blocked them. Yeah, you cut them out at the end of the day, and you said, fuck that shit, because um, I'm investing in myself. So you started investing in yourself, and this is why you're in this emperor energy, because you healed. You took the time to heal, and because you took the time to heal... Now you're having this lotus flower awakening within you. And that's a beautiful thing. And this person is sad. This Gemini energy, raggedy air sign energy. They could be in a, an Aries energy. They could have Aries. They could have Taurus. They could have Capricorn. They could have any type of earth in their chart. But they sad because you're victorious and successful. And you see this person for who they really are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they looked at, and they're looking back at what they've invested in. What they invested in spirit. They invested in what? Some bull uh, maybe they went to jail for some of them, child. What the hell? <gasps> yeah, something. They invested in either jail or a fucked up marriage that feels like jail. Yeah, they got lied and bamboozled to by from some type of empress that they thought was better. They took a leap of faith with the bitch. And honey instantaneously got defeated. Yes, they did. Instantaneously bad karma. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, now here they come back. Oh, Casanova. But you ain't having that and your ancestors ain't having that. They may come back battered and bruised and shit a little bit to make you feel some kind of... I don't know if this one, that's not going to make you feel no kind of way. Spirit, how are they trying to come back? Child, uh-uh. That hit the floor, so that's that's no bueno. And they want to come back like they want to work on something, but they asses at the three of wands right now. Yeah, they undecided what they really want to do. This person doesn't know who they are, what they want to do. All they know is they want to run stuff without putting in the work and be a hoe. What else, spirit? Mm. Like, what is this? Yeah, spirit say cut them out and fucking don't accept this offer. Because your ancestors already done did so much. They already, they already know what this person's all about. This person's a heavy burden and you look at them like a heavy burden because they are a heavy burden. They a petty ass bitch. Okay, they are. And they keep ghosting you, leaving you out in the cold. They want to one up you. That's some of those, some of these people. No, this energy right here, they leave you out in the cold on purpose because it feeds their ego. They fucking come rushing in, wanting to have sex with you. Then they leave you out in the cold and make you feel some kind of way to cause a heavy burden. But they didn't expect you to rise up. This is the rising of the phoenix from the ashes and shit as well. They didn't expect that. Oh no. Mm-hmm. And so now here they are feeling stupid. Mm, page of swords. What is he? Okay, so anyway, spirit, what's the obstacle of this raggedy energy? The magician, you, Gemini, you the obstacle, because you are you up on you know the shit and you done laid some shit to rest. You did. You done laid it to rest this back this backstab and betrayal. You shut it down with the Knight of Pentacles, a uh, honey. That's the obstacle is you saying hell to the no, 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 because you have the courage to be free because you protect yourself. You love you. There's no greater love than self-love. You can't love anybody else unless you love yourself first. It's all self-preservation. Okay. And this person wants you to sacrifice yourself for their, them and their laziness. 
So, Spirit, what is the outcome of this whole situation for Gemini High Vibe? Cross watch eyes. Oh, look at baby. Oh, look, you get a new beginning. Oh my God, and you get good luck. And look, this is what I'm saying. Are you going to have a King of Pentacles? Or are you going to be in this King of Pentacles? Regardless, this is good. This is a good outcome. You could be meeting my man. You could be meeting them. Uh, I don't know, a Queen of Wands who handles her business and shit. Okay, ladies, you could be meeting the King of Pentacles. It don't matter. You're going to be, look, however this energy goes, it's good at the end. This is good luck. This is major arcana. Okay, you got a magic. This is, could be you, Gemini. Even if you don't have nobody or meet nobody, you still sitting pretty and looking good, manifesting your best life in these new beginnings given by God. Okay, so my earth angels, y'all are, some of y'all just, you know what? I'm proud of you guys. I really am because my emperors and empresses, you're, you're, you're okay being alone and by yourself. You're, this is how you're stepping into this lotus flower energy. Not to say that you don't, you know, you can't have anybody, but you're balancing out your energies and knowing when to hold them and when to fold them and learning how to move to step into this divinity. That knowing that you're never alone. You are never alone. And you've got to that point where you feel that you're never alone. Because I said, you're, whoever your emperor or empress is, they're in your energy already. It's just the things that you need to do and the moves that you need to make energetically or whatever divinely timing in your life before you guys come together. And if you don't meet them, you're fine with that too. And I love that. That's the energy that God wants you to be in. He really wants you to want and be with him only. But he will give you a counterpart because everyone deserves one. But you have to put in the work just like you want a bomb ass motherfucker they want a bomb ass motherfucker too that matches their fly and god will provide that one that match your fly okay and that's this emperor and this king of this is this matching y'all's fly these are some fly ass motherfuckers right here okay i mean come on now gemini high five okay look at you child i'm telling you you got options though. You're a magical because Gemini, you showed up as the magician and the queen of wands energy and you're the queen of swords, okay? You're taking your power back and you have the courage to be free. Spirit said our baby is free. And then we got this queen of king of pent child. This is, look, this, whatever you guys do, your counterpart, if you don't even have to, it's just like you could be on a platform. You could be a healer. You could be worldwide known. Your person could be worldwide known on a center stage somewhere. Regardless, it's a brand new beginning. It's very passionate and it's very beautiful. And it's a wish fulfillment. Uh, wishes being fulfilled. Something that you always wished for. And God is granting that for you. He said, here, baby. Absolutely, here you go. Because you put in the work. Now, I'm not going to cast my pearls with swine. But you did the work. And so now I can give you the diamond. You, the diamond that, you see, you know, diamonds start off as coals, some black, ugly little things, but they go under pressure to become diamonds and they become the most beautiful, strongest rock element on this earth. So you're the diamond now, baby. Look, you shine bright like a diamond. And so now God is blessing you. Okay. He's blessing you. Okay, so it's so it pays off to do good and move upright. Yeah, everything worth having is worth fighting for. You know what I mean? So y'all keep up the good work. Keep up the good fight. I'm extremely proud of you guys. And yeah, until next time, I love you. And you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye.